I think yeah. we've both seen it more than once. We've seen it a couple of times because it's certainly a film that that deserves your attention on more than one occasion. Very bold piece of filmmaking to set a film largely in one space in the Broadway theatre, um, to have the lead actor play this character, this movie star, whose filmography bears a resemblance to their own. To have that actor be Michael Keaton, who, let's be honest, isn't the big box office name that he was 25 years ago. That's all pretty bold stuff. But I think most bravely, to weave into that story elements of magical realism, of fantasy, all of that adds up to something pretty out there and risky, but brilliant. Now, initially, the first time I saw it, the fantastical moments in the film, which are there right from the first scene, were the part for me that were hardest to swallow. But I think actually, if you you give yourself over to the story and enjoy suspending your disbelief, then you will be in for a, a beautiful and a magical and a, crucially a very funny experience. Extremely elegantly directed, um, Alejandro Iñárritu is the director, just seamlessly moving around this theatre. Like you said, it feels like just a continuous take. I mean, it's not, but it just has that feeling of just weaving around from one character to another, then soaring out into the streets of New York. Very impressive work from his cinematographer. Emmanuel Lubeczki is, is the cinematographer. Won an Oscar last year for Gravity. Surely he's going to win it again this year for, for Birdman. Just great work. And actually, you really get a sense. You've worked in the theatre. You, I hope, I'm sure you noticed this. You get a sense of what it's like putting on a play, hanging out in the dressing rooms and the wardrobe and, and, and the wings. You really feel that uh, that tension there. Um, but mainly, it's it's just an exhilarating trip inside this guy's head, inside Regan's head, inside the mind of a performer, the mind of a somewhat fallen celebrity. In certain respects, it's a little bit like a, a male midlife crisis version of Black Swan um, inside the mind of someone having a breakdown. Incredibly ambitious, occasionally infuriating, but just always bewitchingly brilliant and incredibly difficult to talk about, like you said, because you listed all the different things it's about. Add in some more. It's about so many things. There are so many things going on in this, but never feels cluttered. Totally works for a number of reasons. I mean, the performances are great, aren't they? All of them. Uh, right across the board. Yeah. yeah. And it's not often you get that where you have, um, like you said, Lindsay Duncan, who really only has a couple of scenes and not that many lines, but even those smaller roles are beautifully played. I mean, Michael Keaton, uh, I think he, he needs, he sort of mentioned this in the interview, but I think he's a smart guy. He's an intelligent actor and he needs to be challenged. Um, and when he is challenged with something baffling like this, he really rises to the occasion. Um, and it makes all those days of of Jack Frost and Herbie Fully Loaded and all those things, it, they just seem just a completely different time now. I mean, they're so long ago now. Now he's back. He's at his twitchy best. He's great playing someone laden with issues and bogged down with concerns. Ed Norton's very funny in it. Emma Stone just effortless in it. And I just think it's it's not very often we see a film as bonkers as this, as smart as this, as challenging as this. Um, and you're going to need to see it more than once, frankly, because there's a lot to 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 try and work out. But it's a joy trying to work it out. Well, the fact that it feels like very long takes and they have invisible edits, so you don't know quite when you're moving from one scene to another. You mm. just realise that you've moved uh, by Emmanuel Lubetsky. Um, I think this is a greater technical achievement than Gravity, to be mm. quite honest, because those spaces they they filmed in a theatre, those spaces are dark. They're very difficult to light. And lighting is the key thing with films, and you notice it when it's rubbish. Of course. And uh, with this, they didn't, particularly with the camera moving, etc. Uh, I thought it was terrific. Well, we've got some um, reviews. Let's uh, see what you thought. Uh, this is from Vicky Smith. Uh, In your readers, Birdman left me both shattered and elated. It's an astonishing achievement. The long takes and tracking shots could have reduced the piece to nothing, but a gimmick. But everything about this intricate style of shooting works for the film. Um, she's a British expat who's uh, based in Washington, D.C. Um, this is from uh, Benedict Keeler Schaffler, who says Birdman might just be the best film of the year. Although that's tough with Under the Skin, Gone Girl and Boyhood being among my favourites. Just the right amount of drama and comedy and spectacular visuals. Also an incredible score and possibly the best ensemble this side of the Grand Budapest Hotel. Yeah, the score is, is percussion, isn't it? Very Largely interesting. Percussion. Yeah, and uh, again, it almost gives the film a sort of heartbeat. Yeah, uh, it's, it's is... quite chaotic at times. Again, if you're, if you're thinking of 
placing yourself in in the lead character's mind it's like this sort of chaotic drumming going on in his head as he's slowly losing his grip on reality it's uh it's not exactly melodic but uh, it certainly helps the film it certainly drives it doesn't it yeah. it's kind of added to that sense of uh, claustrophobia which i thought that the mm. the the way that it was filmed as well did uh, veronica kaufman says birdman the camera work reflected the cast a one take wonder beautiful ensemble piece even if the ending was dumb do you think oh, oh I, well, I mean, we're getting on dangerous ground talking about endings to a film that's <laughs> only been out a day, but suffice to say, I love the ending. Me too, me too. Um, and this one's from Adam Grossman, who says, Birdman can truly lay claim to showing you something you've never seen before in terms of its innovative and challenging direction and cinematography. A true how-did-they-do-it movie. Add to that a heart-beating and heart head-rattling score and masterclass performances from the ensemble cast. Uh, so, you know, pretty universal kind of yeah. acclaim, really. Yeah, and certainly it's it's a front runner, isn't it, in, in the awards season. Um, and great to see Michael Keaton back. I'd love to see him win. Um, it, well, certainly be nominated for an Oscar. I think that's a given, but I'd even like to see him win it because watching it the second time, I even enjoyed the film more the second time. You just see what, and again, this was in the interview, you just see how in the moment he is at all times. It's a phenomenal Performance isn't the word he likes, but that's the word I'm going to use. It is a phenomenal performance. He was just being. He was just the there. Thing. Yeah.